Hello, welcome. I'm Pauline from PQW. So I'm going to continue on um, explaining to you more about our Quilt As You Go sashing templates. You can see I've got a set out here in front of me. This is the two inch set. But what I'm going to explain to you now is how I make the flying geese. So we'll have a look on the quilt. So we can see here, we've got this flying geese sashing. And I love using flying geese. You can use them for all sorts of things. But when we start to construct flying geese like this, it's made totally different to what we would normally make flying geese on a regular quilt. So I'm going to take you back and show you a little bit about this. So now we're going to, um, I've just got the little two inch ones here. So we'll just go to our cutting board and just revisit cutting around them because these are, these are quite small. But one thing, when we cut out the size side pieces, it's quite an odd shape and, and you'll find it even more um, different when you start going up in the sizes. But this is just making the little two inch ones. So we have the triangle and we have the this odd shape here. But when we cut this shape out, it is much better that you fold your fabric. So in every cut, you'll get a left and a right to sit on the side of this triangle. So we're just going to fold the fabric. And you know, you can be wise and you could cut a strip. So if I was going to cut around here, I'd probably measure this measurement and then cut a strip of fabric. Or you can just work down your fabric like I'm going to do. We could place it this way, but we have the grain lines on each of the templates. So particularly with the triangle, make sure the straight grain is running where you need it to be. But what we're going to do is with the little cutter, as I have used all the time, just rock when we get to the corner, rock as we come around. I'm just going to cut this little bit off here. Makes it easier to turn the board. Rock. Now, because we've cut the ends off here, we've straightened these off so you don't have to worry about that nasty overhang of your quarter inch point there. We just want to make that easy for you. Oh, I didn't rock enough. And you can see by not rocking enough the blade, I didn't cut those last little threads. So that's why I suggest that we rock. And there we go. So there's that piece cut out. Then we would cut the triangle out and these would be stitched onto each side of your fabric triangle. So let's bring over some bigger pieces to make it a little bit easier for you to understand. So we have our triangle cut out and notice that we've nipped the ends off here. We've got our side pieces cut out and using a plain colour it's easy because you don't have to worry about what's right or wrong. But that is how it's all going to be stitched together. Now, a little tip when we start putting these together, we're going to align those nipped off edges together, exactly like so. And do use your template to set up your quarter inch. Take this to the sewing machine, put the edge of your foot against it, move your needle over so your needle's exactly on that seam line there. Then this is going to stitch together perfectly. I do recommend that you pin these pieces on, okay, as we stitch across here. Now we've stitched this first piece on and you can see how it all comes out level. You can see how it's all nicely done. Stitch this, press that seam, fold it out, lay this one on top. Use your double fork pin, whoops, can't get hold of it. Pin this, and then we'll stitch down till we get to our quarter inch seam there. And then you have, magically have, your flying geese mate. So we end up with the quarter inch here, and if we put this little template back on, it's exactly that same quarter inch. So now we're going to build these all together. You're going to put them face to face, Sew across, and when we sew across, make sure you sew right on that X mark. That's your exact quarter inch. 
and you'll just keep sewing these down and building them up till you get your strip as long as you need it. You can see we match the points here. You can see how they're all matching up, the sides end up level. So now this odd shape, this is where we, why we designed the templates because what we're going to do now is put this back through the appropriate size sasha tool, press it with the hot iron and then you have your flying geese made. So here's the little ones made up, aren't they gorgeous? So that was using the little template and the little side template to create that. So this part from here back is the part that falls back in underneath. Then we fill that up with our wadding. Here's the larger one made. Lay your wadding inside, then refer back to my YouTube video on how to join your quilts together, quilt as you go, stitch this on, then you have your beautiful, beautiful flying geese. And it really adds to your quilt. So that's a little bit about how we make our flying geese using our new range of Quilt As You Go sashing templates. So thank you for joining. Don't forget to look at our website, pqw.com.au and subscribe to our YouTube channel because I've got lots more to show you. So bye for now.